when this event came about, Steve and I, we couldn't figure out whose video should go first, and so we decided to settle it with an arm wrestle. Uh, what I didn't know was that Steve was going to send in one of his gall darn robots as a surrogate. You, you can see who won. Uh, what, one of the fun things about an event like this, and I, I got to tell you, it really tickles my heart, is right in front of every single one of you out there is a glass of my company fluid. Uh, and you know, that water is a pretty special substance, and I'm uh, fortunate and even blessed to work with it as a creative and an engineering medium. A uh, couple of interesting things about water. Water is uniquely the only thing that was here at the formation of our planet that remains unchanged. There's been no water created. There has been no water destroyed since the creation of the Earth. It, uh, we, we dirty it up and we clean it and everything, but, but it's, it's still there. In fact, as you've been drinking that water, I can promise you, this is a fact, every drop of that water in your glass was peed by a dinosaur at one point in time. <laughs> You know, many, many of us, particularly, I, I, I imagine every single person in this room was inspired by another Steve, Steve Jobs. And he once said to a group of students speaking at Stanford that creativity is really connecting the dots. And I would like to append to that, if I may, in order to connect them, you have to collect them. And to those students out here that, that Rich and Alan just mentioned who joined us, my advice would be to seek out what I was fortunate enough to do in, in my life, particularly at the University of Utah, which is learn everything you can. Every, everything you learn, everything you touch, everything that, that goes in through an eye or, a, or an ear will at some point in your life spark something and, and create something. It's, uh, I started my, my life here, um, not, not quite at five there, but a few years later than that, uh, walking home from school on 15th East, just before the storm that's supposed to hit us tomorrow, one like that, and deciding to dam the entire street with snow and see if I could divert the cars. And that, of course, led to a degree in civil engineering, and that <laughs> led me to the University of Utah, where I spent more hours outside of civil engineering than I did in classes in mechanical engineering, even though I was a civil like Steve's, in the physics class, in architecture, in the art department, in the dance department, and all of that has been, it just, it comes together later in life. I would like to thank everyone here, gentlemen, Senator, Governor, Rich and Allen, and in addition to that, my absolutely supportive and stunning wife, Susan, my 85-year-old mother, Faye, my brother, Todd, and sister, Jamie, my colleagues who have flown up with me to be here this evening, uh, Dr. Haven Bergeson, who was such an inspiration to me at the university. This has been a great state. It is, still is a great state. It's a state that was born from water. It rose up out of Lake Bonneville, you know, so we do have a lot in common. Thank you very much.